went for the student paper and absolutely loved it. I think in the same way that presumably when you went to your first UKIP meeting, it was like, oh, yeah, this is like... <laughs> I yeah, found it. Yeah. I found it, yeah. And absolutely, just the whole thing of putting together a newspaper, the writing, the editing, the pictures, the headlines, it just felt like, yeah, if I can make, if I can make a life out of this, then, then, I've, then I've done pretty well. And then that obviously, I, you know, I, I did history and stuff, and that obviously, shaped, once I got into journalism, I, I sort, of gra- sort of orbited around politics and current and policy. I mean, and Telegraph, events. you were there for a long time. Yeah, I was at the Telegraph for 10 years, in, including um, including being one of the many people who had to c- call Boris to, you know, ask when could we expect this column, which you we were see, meant to. Have you see, everyone <laughs> says this. Everyone says this that this weekly column for which he was very highly paid, that he often didn't know what subject to write about. He nearly always filed copy late. He was a nightmare to work with, was he? No, no, because I mean, I mean, when I was dealing with him, he was mayor of London, so he was sort of double, double okay, jobbing. But okay. he was. When the copy finally arrived, it was impeccable mm. in a way that is very, very. So anyone who says that Boris is not a, a clever guy or doesn't have a brain to him, absolutely don't, like it. Yeah. There's, there's very, very few he's people just, who he's just disorganised. Yeah, but yeah, but when he fo- when he sat down and focused, and the words came out, they were absolutely. Yeah. you know, so yeah. it was so rare that you'd have to you even query anything. Yeah, now I've spoken to other people that work with him on the Telegraph and uh, at the Spectator, and it's sort of almost sort of perpetual chaos in motion, really. Um, But that's who he is.